Hey up everyone. Oh, back out. I'm back in the lakes. Um, oh, shattered as always. <laughs> I've just gone up onto, I think this is S Cows, or maybe that's just up there, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, yeah, there's some lovely cloud. I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up, but some lovely cloud just over Great Gable there. And it's just, uh, just covering Great End as well. That's Pike. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then you've got the Langdales, which are lovely and clear. You see Pike and Stickle there. Um, my destination is up here tonight. I'm going to head up onto Alan Crags and then Glaramara. Uh, I'll find somewhere to camp along there. Oh, God. This first bit I've done to camera. Um, it was very busy down in the, the valley. I came, I started off going up towards uh, Stiehead Town that way and I, I turned back very quickly and, and came up in between Seathwaite Fell and, uh, and Glaramara. I don't know what the valley's called but it was a lovely scenic route, loads of little waterfalls and stuff. It was very nice but it's still quite busy. Um, but the, the track up to uh, Stiehead Town it was, like, it was just like a conveyor belt of people, so uh, I decided to to come up the, the quieter route. Well, that cloud base seems to be dropping, so I hope it doesn't drop any further, and I hope it doesn't make its way in this direction. It doesn't seem to be. So we'll see. We'll see. It does look pretty cool. Right. I'm... Uh, Oh, I'm going to slowly make my way up to Alan Crags. It's much cooler up here. It was, it felt almost tropical <laughs> in that valley. Uh, but it's a nice, nice cool breeze up here now. Oh. Right. I'm going to crack on. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Made it. Summit of Glaramara, uh, 783 meters, I think. Oh, nice little uh, summit shelter there. I'm um, definitely not getting my tent in up here though. Um, very rocky, very uneven. Yeah, there's no way you'll get a tent anywhere up here. Uh, there are some little tarns down there. Um, there looks to be some flat spots, so I might go and have a little wonder and just drop down there. Um, yeah, Let's see what's what, see if we can get the tent in. Stunning views, though, as always. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Oh. See the Langdale's there, nice and clear. Although great end and 
sure I don't fall here. Uh, here we go. Uh, great end, great gable, pillar, all all still covered. Uh, although I can see the Isle of Man. GoPro won't pick it up, but I can see the Isle of Man. Uh, oh. Right, I definitely need to go and get my uh, tent pitched. And then I'm desperate for a brew. Right, let's go and have a look down there, see if we can get sorted. I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, well that wasn't easy. Just had to uh, navigate my way down that. I think probably much easier going up than down. Yeah, that weren't straightforward at all. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm just gonna have a wander over to these towns. Uh, I think looks to be a few few spots over there. I can finally get this tent up and get a brew on. Oh, have a rest. Oh. Bring you back when I've uh, when I've got over there and found found a pitch. Oh, right, folks. <laughs> Bit of an update. Um, I dropped down to the those three towns, uh, and it, it was just a complete and utter bog fest. Uh, luckily, oh, I've got a clean pair of socks because my left sock is drenched. Um, yeah, nothing suitable at all there. So I thought, well, I'll come, I'll get back up to Glaramara. Um, oh God, I'm shattered. Uh, I, even though I knew there was nothing suitable up there, I thought maybe I'll, I'll spy a pitch somewhere. But I shot up and down a couple of times, what I thought might be decent pitches, but either too rocky or not, not even remotely flat um, or boggy. So. Yeah, I'm halfway back to Alan Craggs. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. Oh. So, I bet I've been looking for the best part of an hour to find a pitch. And I am flagging now. I'm desperate for a sit down and a brew. So, I'm going to keep making my way along this way. There was a couple of spots that I saw that I thought look quite good they weren't they weren't a million miles away from the main path but they had some nice views and yeah we'll see but I need to get a shift on now because time's getting on um so oh my god I'll bring you back <laughs> hopefully when I'm pitching my tent which I'm hoping will be sooner rather than later oh, right I'll catch you in a bit
My guys finally got pitched. Um, I don't know what time it is, but I bet it's going on for half eight, nine o'clock. Um, some nice colour just appearing in the sky there, but I think we're gonna we might get a little bit in that triangle there. Um, there's some cracking cloud formations on Great Gable and spreading all the way along over to Kirkfell and Pillar and that, and then keeps getting little coverings on Great End. It's stunning. Sprinkling tarn down there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pitched just below the summit of Allen Crags <laughs> where I started off about three hours ago. Um, I went all the way over to Glaramara. Um, obviously I couldn't pitch on the summit, which was fine, but I figured I'd find somewhere around there couldn't find anywhere. Um, saw some little tarns further down, there's loads of them. I don't know if you can see those there, there's loads along this um, route, but they're all super boggy and uneven and rocky, yeah, nothing suitable at all. So uh, I started making my way back over uh, to Alan Crags thinking I'll find somewhere and then when I got to the top of that, I thought I'm, I'm going to end up down at Sprinkling Town with the other five or six tents that I can see. Um, and I just, I just came to this little ledge here just to, just to have a look, and I saw this. Literally, you can get one tent in, a little flat spot there, and it's nice and dry. So yeah, spot on. But I am absolutely, <laughs> oh, I'm shattered. I think I've done about. I don't know about nine miles or eight or nine miles and I've done a lot of ascents because I was up and down Glaramara looking for a pitch so uh, I've just got the kettle on I'm gonna do my tea I've got a thousand calorie spag bowl which is gonna go down well um, and so is that brew I cannot wait that's gonna be the best tasting coffee I think ever <sighs> I can't I can't stop looking at that though the camera's just not it's just not going to do it justice at all it's really not but that's just stunning yeah absolutely stunning right I'm going to sort my food out get a brew because I really need it and just gonna sit and watch that. Superb. You can just see Grassmere in the distance there. Um, I can't name all these fells here. Apologise. Obviously, Great End. Yeah, I think that's Seathwaite Fell in the middle there, where Sprinkling Tarn is. Um, yeah. Or maybe that's Seathwaite Fell. I'm too tired to care. Right, I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm gonna get this brew on uh, and get some food because I'm starving. I'll bring you back in a bit.
Wow, well that was mightily impressive. Um, I was just about to tuck into my tea and I looked up and all behind Great Gable had just caught. It was just glowing red and obviously all the cloud was draped over it. It just looked absolutely amazing. Um, so I chucked this and turned every camera on that I had to try and capture pictures or footage or so. I don't know what I've ended up with but hopefully I've got, got something because um, that was just stunning only lasted a minute a minute and a half if that and then it and then it started to recede on that side but unbelievable clouds just receding back now off great gable it's gone off great end and it's breaking up above us as well so yeah hopefully we're in for maybe a clear night um, I have cer certainly not got bored of uh, staring at that view. Absolutely stunning. Mm. As is this. But I think that's just because I'm absolutely starving. Mm. Right. I think I'm going to uh, finish this and then um, get another brew on. Just chill in the tent for a little bit. Let's see what happens over there. Yeah. So peaceful. Um, right, I'm gonna have this cup of coffee. I've got a biscuit there. I'm gonna have this, um, and then I think I'm gonna get in the tent and uh, get some kit because I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> um, I'll bob my head out. It is clearing a little bit, but I'm saying that's clouded over again. I'll, I'll bob my head out and just see if anything's happening maybe later on but I'm not gonna lie there's a good chance I'm sleeping through <laughs> um, yeah we'll see um, if I do any filming or any photography or anything during the night you'll probably see that next and if not I will uh, I'll catch you in the morning cheers everyone
guys. That's me for another one. Clouds just lifted now. Uh, sun's, I think the sun has risen, but can't see it behind the fells over there. But absolutely stunning morning. The conditions all trip have just been amazing. Um, inversions, I think I got some nice astro stuff of the Milky Way and some inversions last night. Sunset and sunrise, just been epic. Um, yeah, one of the best best trips I've had in a while that. But it's time for me to get myself down, so uh, as always, thanks very much for watching. Oh, just as I spoke, sun's poking up now. Amazing. Um, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm going to leave you with that epic sunrise.